everyone. Have you noticed that yuzu has become one of the trendiest ingredients? Wherever I turn in the grocery store, I see the fruit flavor taking over. Okay, but what's all the buzz about it and can we use it at home? Well, here with everything you need to know about yuzu is culinary expert Valerie Azinge. Welcome back to the yeah. show. Yeah. First of all, I just love saying it. Yeah. Uh, and secondly, for someone who doesn't know, what exactly yeah. is a yuzu fruit? So yuzu is a citrus tree that, uh, that originates from China, but it's also native to Japan. Um, it's very similar in appearance to a lemon, but it's shaped like a tangerine. And it tastes like a cross between like an orange and a grapefruit. And when you cut the fruit in half, you will notice that it has a lot of seeds. Now, due to the many seeds in yuzu, it's quite difficult extracting the juice from it. Okay. And because of that, as well as difficult as a harvest, Thing, usually tends to be very expensive compared oh. to other citruses. Yeah. So, so why is it that I see the flavor on everything, so many different products and so on, but I never actually see the fruit? Yeah, mm -hmm. so the fruit is quite niche, but it's very hard to find in stores, especially because of some importing laws. However, okay. oh. you can find 100% yuzu juice in stores and in online retailers. Oh. And a lot of chefs and cooks actually cook with the juice, and it's actually used as a souring agent. Okay. Same way you would use like lemon and vinegar. Okay. And it simply just enhances the flavors of the dish you're making. You know, it, it, to me, and when you see this one, it looks like orange. I think orange juice. I think oh, mimosa. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's, an, that's a regular orange. Oh, that's, that's a regular, regular orange. orange. Oh. Cake, but, like, Come yeah. On. Like, the use of fruit, like, again, very similar to a lemon, but, again, it has a lot of seeds in it. So okay. you can definitely tell the difference between both of them. Gotcha. Let, let's throw it in a mimosa, though. Why not? Yeah. So we're going to make some mimosas with yuzu. Now, I don't drink alcohol, so I have a non-alcoholic yes, sparkling. Yes, but why, why don't we go ahead and do that? Do you want to guide us through? Yes, let's do that. So, again, the citrus season the holidays coming up, and why not celebrate with a fancy cocktail? Okay. To start, start things off, actually, want to start with the yuzu juice. Oh, oh so yuzu that juice? goes in first. Yes, so pour that. Can I try a little bit? Try it. It's quite... <laughs> Ooh, it's so... I love it, though. I love so... It. Quite slappy, but very citrusy. So you pour that oh, in I there. Okay. <laughs> and then you want to pour in some of the orgeat syrup. How much? It. All of that. All of it. it gives a bit of an orange blossom flavor. And, yeah. and then you Obsessed. want to put a few drops of bitters, like two to three of Angostura bitters, not too much. Let's give there it a little go. bit of a zhuzh. Okay. Ooh, and and then the best part, you're going to top it up with some sparkling. All the way up, no judgment, just keep going. <laughs> okay. Go all the way. Don't be scared, oh it's just Don't me. Scared. Don't be scared. Just Don't be scared. I love <laughs> the... Nicely done. Yes. I love the, the smells that I'm smelling. It's and very I aromatic and citrusy. Okay, just going to do a little bit here. Okay. It I want this looks to be beautiful. like my new favorite thing in the whole world. Let it. Like you. <laughs> oh, you're my new favorite thing. Oh, this, is, oh this is so lovely. I Delicious. love it. Delicious. I love it. <laughs> okay, so next you've made, I'm very excited about this, roasted cauliflower with yuzu butter. Absolutely. Tell us about it. Makes a perfect appetizer. And the first thing you want to do is just cut up some cauliflower florets. Okay. You want to toss it in some salt and pepper and olive oil. Throw that in a baking dish and then top it with some cubed cold butter and a bit of limoncello. Then pop that in the oven for, at 450 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Take that out, and then you want to pour over some yuzu juice, yep. coconut aminos, yep. and just top it with some herbs, and that's it. Good so to go. Did you say coconut aminos? Coconut what aminos. Is that? Yeah, so yeah. it's basically an alternative to soy. So if you're watching your sodium or your sugar intake, you can just sub it with some coconut aminos instead of soy. Oh um, my gosh, yeah. no idea. This yuzu butter is yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's delicious. I want to put it on fish. Yeah. Sorry. You what, can put so it, what else could oh you use? Oh my goodness. So it. like, it's so good <laughs> with like roasted branzino or yes. sea bream, or if you want to take it up a notch, over some popcorn. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. This Fancy. Is this is good. So we're moving on to grilled ginger prawns with yuzu aioli. This sounds delicious. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. Super we easy to make, especially great for entertaining. And of course, if you want to take it up a notch again, you can swap out the mm -hmm. prawns for some langoustines. Mm -hmm. So the first mm -hmm. thing you want to do is, again, rub some olive oil and salt and pepper on the prawns. And then you're going to sear that in a pan for about two minutes per side on medium high. Set that aside and then make the yuzu aioli. Very simple to come together. You want some yuzu juice, some mayonnaise, mm -hmm. some minced ginger, garlic, and shallots. Whisk that all together. And for a little added touch, I like to put some tarragon in there. It works really well with the aioli. Well, it, it really, it's, it makes for a great condiment. You can spread it on things as well. So it turns out like maybe some French fries Absolutely. would go well in there, which we happen to have. Especially um, if you want to add some Parmesan cheese or truffle to those fries, yes. it would go really well with the aioli. Amazing. So what are... Um, so we're gonna we're gonna test those right now. So Absolutely. you say you can use prawns or langoustines yes, in this dish. So what what is that for those who aren't so familiar? So langoustines 
are actually Norwegian lobsters. They're very similar to a regular lobster, but you actually cook them the way you would prawns and shrimp. Mm, wow, yeah. okay. This is so incredible because it's familiar, but different and elevated mm -hmm. and exciting. And it also keeps really well too for a while. Loves it. Yeah. Let's go to our final dish. Yes which is a dessert. This is a yuzu orange olive oil cake with yuzu curd. I love curd so much. Tell oh, us yeah. about this. Oh yeah, good? everyone mm. loves dessert and if you're a citrus lover, this is right up your alley. Start things off with the yuzu curd. You want to combine um, some yuzu juice, some butter, um, long fruit sweetener, and mm. some egg yolks in a double boiler. Then you just want to keep whisking that on medium low until it's nice and thick. Mm -hmm. Put that in the fridge when it's done so it just firms up a bit. And then to combine the cake together, so with your wet ingredients, some, um, some eggs, some olive oil, some yuzu juice, some orange juice, some maple syrup, whisk that together, and then sift in some almond and coconut flour and a bit of baking soda and salt. So this makes it gluten-free. Gorgeous. And Ooh. then you just pour that in a prepared loaf pan, pop that in the oven at 350 for about uh, 40 minutes. And then, yeah, when it's done, let it cool for a few minutes on yeah, the counter if you can you wait that it. long. <laughs> if you can wait that long and then top it with some um, yuzu curd and it's ready to serve. Now, you it's made amazing. this yuzu curd with monk fruit sweetener, which yes. I have never used before. Can you tell me about it? So monk fruit is actually a sweetener that comes from the monk fruit plant, okay. uh, the fruit from... Uh, Southeast Asia, and it's often used as a low calorie or low carb sweetener alternative to Ooh. granulated mm. sugar. And the good thing no about idea. it is twice as sweet as regular sugar, so it, a little bit goes a long way. Wow. wow. This, mm. I love that you brought the full gamut yeah, here. And it's so beautiful. delicious. Um, I want to eat this. We're going to, we definitely are. Mallory, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Delicious. <laughs> Top to bottom. True. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.